This is Dundonald Castle in South Ayrshire. During the construction of Ockham's house for the Earl of Dundonald, the Cochrane family, a lot of stone was taken from this building. This is the entrance to the old walled garden on Ogden's house near Dundonald in South Asia. Though the garden has been long abandoned, there are some magnificent specimens of trees planted a hundred or more years ago, such as this sycamore here. Old maps show very ornate laid out gardens. In the distance there is the old Ockens house. This particular wall garden was famous for until 1793 an Ockens pear grew here, otherwise known as a toadback pear. It's described as being luscious, juicy, buttery, and tasty with a great aroma. In the days before sweets being readily available, fruit with such a flavour was highly valued. The Ockens pear was the first one of its type to be brought into um, the country, certainly the county. An example was found at Plus Carden Abbey. The name toadback pear just refers to the very warty surface of the skin. In the distance is the Ockens Woods, and over the hill there is a large open area which used to be a deer park. However, in the times of the Montgomery's owners, they removed the deer and they were taken to Eggington Castle to the deer park that was there. In the woods over the hill there's a vitrified fort. There's also a pre-reformation chapel where well, nothing seems to remain of that now. This is Ockham's house in South Ayrshire, not far from Dundonald. Dating from the 16th century, it has been much altered. For instance, this square section tower ruins here has a Renaissance style door. Originally the property of the Wallace family, related to the Wallaces of Craigie, then passed through the family line to the Cochrane family who became Earls of Dundonald. It then passed into the hands of the Montgomerys, the Earls of Eglinton. The most famous resident here was Lady Susanna, Countess of Montgomery. She was a Kennedy from Culzean. She was married to the ninth Earl, and her son was the unfortunate tenth Earl, who was shot and killed at Ardrossan. The tenth Earl gave her this property. She lived here after having first lived for a while in Camors at Camors Place. Most famous visitors here were Dr. Samuel Johnson and James Boswell. On that famous visit, she entertained them. She also introduced them to her dozen or so pet rats, which when she knocked on the wood panelling and opened a small door, these rats would come out to be fed. She also said that they seemed to be more grateful for her attentions than any humans that she knew. 
Upon leaving, Dr. Samuel Johnson referred to his age, and she made the point that although she was in her 90s at the time, she would therefore possibly he could have been her son. He took this very well. After Lady Susanna Montgomery died, the house remained in the hands of the Montgomery family. Heather was now used for tenants and for the foresters. It said in the 1880s, a very large number of valuable Montgomery papers are found in one of the rooms here. One of its last uses was to house First World War prisoners. It said the roof was still on to around about the 1920s. There have been various thoughts of restoration. The clan Cochrane at one point were keen on purchasing it and restoring it. However, it's quite close to the Dundonald Quarry. That may mean that uh, any restoration would be impossible due to the proximity. The factor of the estate also at one time lived here. However, later, Another Ockens house was built down much closer to Dundonald and the factor lived there. The Vernons at one time were the factors, or actually the commissioners of the Earl of Eglinton's estate. That is, the commissioner was in charge of a number of factors on the different estates held by the Earl. Some of the internal fittings, such as fireplaces, were removed from Ockens House and moved to the new Ockens House, which was built in an Italian, Italianate style. However, Ockens House itself, the new one, now is entirely vanished with a housing estate built upon it. The Earls of Dundonald, the Cochranes, did at one, at one time purchase the new Ockens House and lived there for a while. It's the view looking from Ockham's house across to Irvine, with the Shulton Moss in the foreground, the site of the old Shulton estate in the distance. In the woods here was located old Ockham's, as shown on the maps. Seems to have been stables and other buildings related to the work done on the estate. The woods here are very high quality and are sites of special scientific interest. A lot of work has been done here to remove alien species such as the sycamore or Celtic maple, apart from very old specimens such as this magnificent tree in the background. On this side of the house, a rather magnificent, ornate window has clearly been here at one time, presumably for something like the Grand Hall.